Great opportunity to gather together once again. I never take these moments for granted because I know God is present. We are more than two. We are gathered together in one accord so that God is glorified. God is in this place. That's the promise he made. God never lies. So we have a guarantee that God is here. We have a guarantee that angels are ministering. We have a guarantee that God loves us, that God cares for us, that God protects us, that God is able to do all that because he's all powerful. It's nice to have Rihanna, it's nice to have you, Pastor Lionel. It's nice to have each and every person who is on the platform now and anyone will connect later. And I want to stand with each and every one of us in faith. I want us to stand on the word of God. We have his word and his word never fails. His word is powerful. We have his word as a guarantee of what he is capable and what he desires to do. His word reveals his will. And that's what we should pray. That's what Jesus said. Pray, my will be done here on earth. And so when we get a hold of his word that will be shared by Pastor Lionel, when you receive that word, I want you to agree with scripture. Agree with that word. And you can say amen. You can type amen. You can jump, get excited in your home and express your excitement. Why? Because when you hear the truth of the word of God, that should liberate you to manifest the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to connect Pastor Lionel. And as I'm doing so right now, I want us just to greet each other. I see Mukwena, you're right here. We truly, truly appreciate you and what you do in the community. We appreciate you, Rihanna, what you do in the marketplace. And I'm so expectant. This uh, morning as I woke up, reading a book from uh, the book of Genesis chapter 39. I was just encouraged by how God operated through Joseph. Joseph's story will inspire anybody, no matter what you're going through in life. I was so inspired by what God does through an ordinary young boy, a guy who was left for dead in a pit. And just his, his growth, you know, in spite of his experiences, some which were very, very sad, but God worked everything together up to his promotion and elevation to a place of great influence. Uh, I remember hearing uh, Rihanna, your story in one platform where you shared a powerful story on how God, what you life and just looking at where you are. I'm just hoping one of these days you share your own t your testimony and inspire a lot of people in this platform. And so, and I'm saying this to each and every one of us as we get encouraged, as we get inspired, as we get equipped today. Whatever you're going through, whatever part of the journey you are at right now, find rest and comfort in knowing God's with you. God's with you. God, Emmanuel, God with us. The prophecy was Emmanuel, God with us. He would come and dwell amongst his people. God's with you. And if you haven't finished your assignment, and you are holding on to that assignment, the Bible says, therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who are called according to his purpose. If you have been given that purpose and it's not over. You're not going anywhere. You are with us until you finish that race. I want you to believe that. We are finishing our assignment. We have the resources to finish our assignment. We have God with us to hold us through, encourage us through, to inspire us through that assignment. We have these angels ministering resources Hallelujah. That doesn't get you excited. I don't know what. You know, some will get excited when they hear. Trust me, I'm not going to give up on you. Then you think, wow, 
you, know, you look at the wonderful creation and say, with you on my side, I've heard songs that are sung, love songs, in quotes of the world, that I will be with you, valley through the mountain, and I've seen them sing that song with tears on their eyes, and later on divorce each other. And so I want to encourage you that God, when he says, I will be with you, I will not forsake you, I will not leave you. God will be with us all through the way. If you believe that God is with you, type hallelujah and just celebrate. You can spin, you can jump, you can rejoice. God with me right through it. We are never alone. We never walk alone. It's very inspiring just to remember that. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to check Pastor Lionel. He's right here. I saw him and he disappeared. Now here you are. God's with us. I see you, I see you, I put my finger right there. Yes, I got you. So God's with you, God's with me. Tell your neighbor, God's with you. Hallelujah. You walk with greatness. And he will see you right through that transition as you grow daily and draw closer and closer to the manifestation of that vision. So tonight, nice to have my brother, my friend on the platform, new place it's looking lovely it's a bit blurry but i know it will get clearer with time how are you now i'm extremely well i'm excited I remember i was telling you that i just sense i'm just feeling this expectancy i'm feeling... how it is when it's about to rain and you sense that it's going to and you have this sense of, you know, you start preparing. That's feeling. Great stuff tonight. I just sense that God is opening the floodgates of heaven. And he's going to just pour out such a blessing in people's lives. And that blessing will meet people at their point of need. And I believe there will be a prophetic grace after you minister, even during your ministry, that the words you speak will be prophetic. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just sense such an anointing here, as we commonly would often say, that breaks the yoke of bondage. I feel people's barriers will be broken as paradigms are shifted and perspectives are changed. And that will change attitudes of people as they go through whatever they are going through right now. And that's what God expects each and every one of us to have, the attitude that will match whatever challenge, whatever giant we are facing. And so I just sense that grace as I hand it over to you. May God use you mightily, my brother. Hello? Hi, Pastor Basani, can you? There's, there's, there's a terrible, there's a, there's a terrible. Okay. I, I can't hear you properly at all, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it well, well at all. There's a, there's a terrible Let's try and get there. Not quite, you are breaking. Action is playing up, says Rihanna. So just bear with us at a moment. We seem to have uh, issues with uh, connection, but we're so hungry and expectant for a wedding season from our pastor. Can you hear me a lot, Pastor Lionel? Pastor Lionel? Okay, as we wait for Pastor Lionel's connection to be sorted out, we could Pray for particular prayer points. We could probably start praying for each other. 
just give you time to set up the comments. So it's nice to have each and every one of you. Promise, nice to see you. Nice to see Nom Tandas. It's been quite some time. I know there's pressure in your place. And let's just pray that uh, whatever word we get today, let's hope this connection issue will be resolved. Trusting God to do that. Yeah. Okay. Let me add him. Let me add. Father, may you minister through. Sort it out. All right, Pastor Lionel, can you hear me now? Picture is okay, getting sorry. better than before. Ah, now I can hear you. Now okay. I can so I apologize. I apologize for leaving the broadcast. I've switched over onto mobile data. It seems to, the Wi-Fi seems to be a little bit problematic. So is this a little bit awesome. better? Now I can hear you clearly. This is in better, the, far the better. And the picture quality is, is okay. great. Okay, so I do apologize. The Wi-Fi the wi seems to be a little bit problematic this evening, but uh, this is much better there. Okay. Okay. Well, let me let me get into awesome. it. And again, Pastor Bussani, wonderful. I've missed, I've missed you on uh, on the broadcast here, and I've missed uh, I've missed the, the familiar uh, voices and those who comment regular. But it's good to be back. It's been two Wednesdays that that we've been away, but uh, wonderful to be back. Yeah. And um, I want to speak about about uh, about just experiencing peace in the midst of all that we might be going through right now. And, and uh, okay. it, is, it is very possible to experience peace even in the midst of our greatest challenges in life. And sometimes we're waiting, we're waiting for all the problems to stop. We're waiting for the relationship to heal. We're waiting for it all to come right. And then I can finally be at peace. It's like, it's like, it's like the old lady said mm -hmm. to me the one day when I, I, I uh, conducted a funeral. And I buried her old sister, a lady in her 70s. And she said, well, finally, finally, she can rest in peace. Listen, you don't have to die to experience yeah. peace. We can experience Amen. peace in the, midst, in, in the midst of it all. And so the RIP, exactly. the, the, the RIP, listen, <laughs> we, we, can, we can experience peace on earth today. And Jesus made it possible for exactly. us. So exactly. let me. Let me, let me share, I'm just going to share a very simple, simple message, just a few practical things with some familiar scripture that I believe will help us to, to maintain an attitude of peace and tranquility in the midst of what you may be going through right now. And so allow me to do that. And, and just a few, few points today. Number one, maintain a good attitude. And I know sometimes, sometimes we go through some stuff, some real stuff. We go through some challenges. Our hearts are broken. Uh, 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 our minds mm -hmm. are at turmoil. There are things going on that really, really get to us. I've been down that road just recently. And, and, and it's not easy. It's not easy. But that is when more than ever before, we need to maintain a good attitude. And I want to share some yeah. scriptures. I, I'm, i just like to quote, quote the Apostle Paul here. Paul spoke about in, in, in 2 Corinthians 11 from verses 23 all the way to 28. Paul speaks about some of the challenges that he faced. And maybe you can mm -hmm. relate to some of these. Maybe not. I don't think anyone here that's on the broadcast has been shipwrecked. I don't think anyone on the broadcast has, has been stoned. You might have been stoned, but not stoned. Maybe you on the broad. <laughs> I'm just just joke just joke here. <laughs> but I don't think anyone here on the broadcast has been bitten by snakes. I don't think anyone, or maybe some of you in the early days, we were beaten with rods when we misbehave ourselves. But that's what Paul says. He says he says I was beaten with rods. I was shipwrecked. I was bitten by yeah. snakes. I was stoned. And he speaks about all of these things persecuted by the church. And then he says, and, and all of this here with the daily concern that I have for God's church. And then he says a little later, he says, we are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. Just, mm -hmm. just observe, observe Paul's attitude. He says, we are hard pressed on every side, we're but not we're not crushed. crushed. 
Amen. And maybe some of us, some of us have been feeling that way, hard pressed on every side. It's hitting us left, right, and center. But listen, mm-hmm. we're not crushed. We're not Amen. crushed. And that should be In our Jesus attitude. Name. Listen, listen, it's, it's hitting me all over. I'm bombarded with but all I'm of this. I'm not crushed. I'm not crushed. I'm persecuted, but I'm not abandoned. But I'm not crushed. Yeah. I'm struck down. I'm struck down, but I'm not destroyed. That's a good Amen. attitude. And no matter what you're going through today, maintain that kind of an attitude. Paul then goes on, and in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 17, he says, he says this, after all of those things, shipwrecked, stoned, bitten by snakes, persecuted, if, and all of that, he says, but these light afflictions, these light afflictions are but for a moment, and they are working for us an eternal weight of glory. Listen, I want, to say, I want to say this to somebody today. What you're going through is but for a moment. You're not Amen. staying there. We're coming out. We're coming out. We're coming out Amen. stronger. Yes. Stronger. So, so my, my, my encouragement to you today is maintain a good attitude. Just keep that good Amen. attitude in, in spite of what, you, in spite of what you, you may be going through. Just keep declaring, I am more than a conqueror. I'm an overcomer through the blood of Jesus. God will not, God will not allow, God, God will not allow anything to over to to overtake me that He knows I cannot handle. God knows your your stress level. God knows your your God knows the load that you can carry and the load that you can take. So know that no matter what it is that you're going through, you can come out strong. Maintain a good attitude. That's the name. first. That's the first thing I believe we need to do to maintain peace in the midst of everything that might be going on. The second thing is to be still and know that he is God. And Amen. we know the scripture, Psalm 46 verse 10 says just that. It says, be still and know that he that is he's God. God. Be, he is God. Amen. And I think, I think most of our viewers here looking at some of our comments, looking at your comments and the way you comment, tells me that you're very charismatic and charismaniacs and, and Pentecostals. And, and sometimes, sometimes for us charismaniacs, that's the most difficult thing to do is to be still because we want to shout. True. We want to sh- we so shandai. We want to hallelujah. We want to scream. So we want to we wanna fight with the devil. But sometimes you just got to be still. <laughs> be still true. and know that he is God. When you're going through a crisis, when you're going through the storm, when you're going through the challenge, there comes a time where you just need to sh- just, just sh- let me let me say like this, just shut your big mouth. That's that's a word for me. That's a word for me. That's a word for me. What a prophetic word! Yeah. I receive it today. Just shut, shut. Joyce Joyce Meyer wrote a book. I've got it. I've got it up there on the shelf. It, it speaks about uh, it speaks about um, Lord, help me to keep my big mouth shut. And sometimes Amen. when I was in school, when we were talkative in class, the teacher would say, just put your finger over your lips and sit in the corner. And sometimes that's what you need to do. You need to put your finger over your lips and just sit in the corner and just be still and know that he is God. Know he's God. Amen. Just, be, just be still. Know that he's in control. Don't allow the situation to frustrate you. Because the yeah. more you talk, yeah. the more you fight, and you're going through this thing and somebody else is fighting with you and you... And, and now today it's on the, it's, it's like, you know, we can, and we put six exclamation marks to let them know exactly what we, how we feel. How you feeling? Exactly. You know, yeah. so, so sometimes just be still. Don't reply. Just be still and know that he is God. He is God. Amen. Number, number three, number one, maintain a good attitude. Number two, be still and know that he is God. Number three, don't let the storm. Don't let the storm get in you. We read in Mark chapter 4 from verses 35 to 41. I'm just, I'm just kind of just summarizing and paraphrasing uh, 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 the yeah. scripture. It talks about how Jesus and his disciples got into the boat and then a storm arose, a great, a great storm arose. And the disciples yeah. were, were fearful. And then where was Jesus? Jesus was asleep on a pillow. Yeah. And his disciples said, Jesus, wake up. Do you not care that we are perishing? And Jesus mm-hmm. awoke, awoke and he says, peace be still. 
And then he, and then the Bible says he rebuked, he rebuked the wind and he rebuked the waves, and there was a great calm. We noticed something really, really powerful. Jesus, with his disciples, were in the midst of the storm. But we noticed mm -hmm. the difference. The difference was, the disciples had allowed the storm to get on the inside of them. Jesus, on the other hand, let he allowed or he kept the storm on the outside. What we okay. do is when we, when we go through the challenge, we've got to be careful that we don't let the storm get on the inside, get inside. of us. Let it stay okay. out there. And maybe right now there's a storm raging right all around you. That's okay. That's okay. Don't let it get on the inside of you. Amen. Keep it out there. You keep it out there by maintaining a good attitude. You keep the storm out there by being still and knowing that he is God. He is He's God. God. Amen. Amen. Number four. Number four. Trust in the Lord. And these are just simple things that we all know, scriptures that we're all familiar with. Proverbs chapter three, mm -hmm. verses five to six says just that. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all, your, in all your ways, and he will direct your path. So and sometimes it's just, it's just a matter, it's, it's just really as simple as that. Trust in the Lord. Trust yeah. in the Lord. And, and why is it that when we go through these challenges, that's the time where we, we, we begin to trust in ourselves and in our witty words and and in our intellect, and in our arguments, and we trust in everything else except in God. And we, yeah. and we trust, we're trusting, in, we're trusting in the president, we're trusting in man, we're trusting in everyone to make the right decisions, but sometimes we've just got to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Why, Why with all of our heart? Because sometimes we trust in the Lord half-heartedly. Sometimes we trust in the Lord par partly, I'll, I'll give you, Lord, 50% here, but 50%, I need, to, I need to understand this thing. 50%, mm -hmm. I, need to, I need to lean on my understanding, and 50% will be, no, with all of your heart. Maybe Amen. today, may, maybe today, maybe today, you need to do that for a change. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, Jesus. with everything. Come on, let's do that, church. We can do that. We have the Amen. greater one living on, living on the inside of us. Thank you, Father. Today, yes, today, today, just surrender it all to him and say, Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm going to put it all, all my trust. I'm putting all my dependency on you, the God who will never fail me. Listen, Amen. He, hasn't failed, he hasn't failed you yet, and he's not about to fail you. He's not going to fail us. Amen. 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 So, so sometimes, sometimes we, we want to use our faith to change the situation. But sometimes we, knew, we, we, we want to use our faith to calm the storm, but sometimes, or to get rid of the problem. But sometimes we've got to use our faith to carry us through the storm, us through the problem. Yeah. Trust, trust in mm -hmm. the Lord. It's trusting in the Lord through it all. Trusting in the Lord through it all. And then, yeah. and then last, lastly, Number five, I said, number one, maintain a good attitude. Number two, be still and know that he is God. Number three, number three was, was don't let the storm get in you. Number four, trust in the Lord. Number five, get a higher perspective. Get a higher yeah. perspective. Isaiah 40 verses 31, we all know, we all know the, 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 verse, the verse so well. And it speaks about, it speaks about, it says, he gives strength to the weak. Amen. And to, and to those who have no might, he gives, he gives, sorry, he gives power to the weak. And to those who have no strength, he increases their might. Maybe you're feeling weak today. He gives power Amen. to the weak. You are a candidate for God's power tonight. Glory the Bible to says he gives, he gives strength, he gives power to the weak. And those who have no might, he increases their strength. Maybe you say, I, I have no might. I cannot, I cannot do this anymore. I just, I just can't. Listen, it's time for you to lean on God. It's time for you mm -hmm. to receive Amen. strength. Paul encourages us, mm -hmm. one of our favorite scriptures, 
Second Corinthians chapter nine, it says, "In our weakness, He becomes our strength." For when I am Glory weak, God. for when I am weak, are you feeling weak today? For when I am weak, you, then I then I am strong. Yes, Father, then I am strong. Jesus name. You say you you say you weak. I say you strong. Glory to God. Get a higher Amen. perspective. But those who have no might, he increases strength. Those who are weak, yeah. he gives power. And then it says, and those who wait upon the Lord, who trust, who hope in God, they, they yes. will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and Thank not you, grow Father. weary. They will yes. walk and not faint. And we know the scripture so well. But let's, let's believe the scripture. Let's receive exactly. the scripture to. Let's receive yes. it. Throughout scripture, the Bible speaks about the eagle. And whenever the Bible speaks about someone who is an overcomer, someone who the Bible compares or likens that person to an eagle. In, 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 in uh, soldiers, warriors were given little figurines of eagles for acts of bravery. The eagle is representative of power and bravery and strength. But did you know that the eagle, even this bird that, is, that, is, that represents power, strength, bravery, also has a lot of enemies. One of, one of the eagle's enemies or, or, or something that really pesters the eagle is the, is the bird called the crow, that black and white bird, the crow. And what the crow does, it continually pesters the eagle and, 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 and sometimes what it does is it comes and while the eagle is just just uh, uh, um, uh, flying through the sky. It comes and it tries to irritate the eagle, pester the eagle. But the eagle is such a strong bird, the eagle could easily just wipe that crow out in just, in, just a, in just a flash. But what does the eagle do? Instead of wiping the crow out, the eagle stretches out its eight foot wingspan. It, it gets under the thermal currents. And this is what the eagle does when the crow comes the eagle rises up. The eagle rises up. The eagle begins to soar to altitudes where the crow, at which the crow cannot even breathe. It cannot breathe at mm. those altitudes. The lungs yeah. of the crow, the lungs of the crow doesn't allow the crow to breathe at those altitudes. And that's what it does. So instead of fighting, instead of, instead of, instead of, attacking instead of no what it does it just gets a higher perspective gets Praise a higher God. i'm encouraging you today get a higher perspective mount up with wings as, with eagles. Wings as eagles yes sir. get a get a higher perspective listen know today that when the storms come the eagle simply gets above the storm and looks down at the storm when we get a higher perspective, when we maintain a good attitude, be still and know that he is God. Don't let the storm get on the inside of you. Guess what happens? Yeah. We saw above the storm and we begin to look Praise down at, at the storm. Amen. I, a, friend called Amen. Me, called me, a friend called me, Pastor Busani, last week and, and asked me, yeah. how's it going and things. And I said, well, under the circumstances, and he said, he said, he said, oh, okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Get above your circumstances. Let's exactly. get above exactly. our, let's get, yes, a, let's get above it. Listen, let's get yeah. above it. We have yeah. all that we need to rise above yes. our cir circumstances. Jesus name. He's anointed. Yes, we and a, we, listen, I want to say to you today, you are anointed. You are appointed. Yes, Father. Yes, I you am. have been called by name. Jesus, name Jesus. Jesus says, You are mine. And when you walk yes. through the valleys and through the fires and through the waters, they will not overtake you. Yes, Father. And then it goes on in that scripture and it says, Because I, the Lord, the God of Israel, I am with you. I am with you. Amen. Thank and you, so Lord today, Jesus. as I with conclude, us, I want to, I want to, I want to, yes. I want to say this, no matter, no matter what may come your way, you can still say, it is well with my soul. Life may throw you some curveballs, well but, 
it is well with my soul. No matter what you might be facing, no matter what you might be facing today, it is well with your soul. My plans are not well with our soul. It is well with my soul. I got a bad, I got a bad report from the from from my boss. I got a bad report from the doctor. It is well with my soul. Well with my soul. It is well. Amen. I want to I want to say to you today. Amen. It is well. It is well. You can do this. Thank you, Father. It is well. You can do this. In fact, you can do anything and all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes, please. Tonight, 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 tonight. Let's allow Him. Let's allow Him to strengthen us. Come on, with your hands lifted up tonight, Pastor Busani, if you'd allow me to pray over over us tonight. Come on, with our hands lifted up tonight, Amen. Father, we come to you Father, we in weakness. We, we, are, we are weary, yes. we are tired, but your word says that you give power to the weak. To and God. those who yes, have no might, tonight. Father, tonight, increase strength in us, in our weakness. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our eyes to the hills. Lord, send help now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Undertake for every you. need represented. Washington Undertake for the trial, mighty name of Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We call upon in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, tonight. Help us to maintain a good attitude. Help us tonight, Lord, to yes, be still Father. and know that you are God. Help us, Lord, tonight, in the name of not Jesus. allowing the storm to Jesus. get on the inside of us. In the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, Father. Higher perspective. In Jesus. Jesus' name. Yes, Father. Yes. In the mighty name of yes. Jesus. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name. Tonight, Lord, we put our trust in you wholeheartedly dependent upon you in Jesus name and so undertake Jesus. tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Father. amen and amen 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 and amen 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 and amen amen thank you we so much eh? tonight in Jesus name amen amen my pleasure I'll pray and amen. then thank you God bless I'll, I'll pray and then let you go Father, I thank you thank for you. Okay. Pastor Lino. I thank you for the call in his yes. life. I thank you for the anointing yes, on his life. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Let's pray that God will mean We're praying in tongues. Mandare boshi kesi atana bende. Sikambro yoski kishkababa. Brosi ba tere boshi. Si ababo presi tarabande. Mandare boshi keba brosi kabai kema. Brosi kababa brosi atana bende. Sikatarabande. Father, I thank you for this season in his life. I thank you, Father, that he will operate in your power and your wisdom. It's available for him. I thank you, Lord God, for the peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard his heart and his mind in Christ Jesus. Guard his heart and his mind in Christ Jesus. Thank you for clarity in the decision go to make decisions that he has to make. Thank you, Father, in yes. Jesus' name for the knowledge, the understanding, the wisdom to yes. execute yes. decisions that usher him yes. in Toshkia to where you want him to be. I thank you for it. Estoshki babro sande kebro stabaya. So korebande. I thank you for a discerning spirit within him. Yes. To be able to discern what is of God and what is not of God. Any advice yes. that contradicts you, even if it sounds good, any advice that contradicts your divine purposes for his life. Thank you for the ability to know it clearly. 
Thank you for your clear, audible, bless her voice, especially right now in this season that is going through. I pray this in the name of Jesus. I thank you for ministry opportunities to open and clear direction for what to say yes to and what to say no to. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep amen. you. The Lord increase amen. you. The Lord enlarge you. My brother. Thank you so much. Amen. amen. It's a pleasure. Eh? Possible, Sonny. Blessings God to bless you. you. Adios. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. God, God bless, bless you. Bye -bye. Too, eh? Amen. Bye. We need to have Coach Keith and Mr. Thomas to take this news around. Right, we have each and every person here. I can't seem to to locate Coach Keith. Coach, Coach Keith. I'm going to have to close the session. We're going to have him some other time. Probably have him tomorrow. Thank you each, to each and every person for joining. I want to close the session by saying the benediction. There's a lot of you right now that are in the process of transformation of that dream, that idea, or that vision to something tangible. There's some of you like for a woman who is pregnant. Realization has taken place. You know, you sense there's something. Everybody else doesn't see it. And for some of you, maybe there's a lamp and people can tell there's something coming. But for some of you, you can't see anything at all. But fertilization has taken place. I want to pray for people in those stages, various stages, that there is greatness in you. Some of you haven't seen it. But some of you, you have seen it, you know it, and you are surrounded by people that see it, that affirm it, that support you. There are some of you who sense it, but you're surrounded by people that don't see it, that don't acknowledge it. Probably identify with Joseph, where you see something, you've had a dream about it, and your family thinks it's ridiculous. They think you're, you're dreaming just too big. In all those stages, and some of you have seen the formation, you're seeing the growth. But maybe you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. You're feeling a bit exhausted. You're feeling a bit tired. In all those stages, it's very important for us not to give up, to persevere. And in those stages, it's very important for us to focus on the right things because what you focus on is magnified. Obviously, it makes sense to focus on God. It makes sense to focus on the word and yourself. Yeah, for I want to pray in those, all those stages. That includes everybody. There's no one left out here. Today, you know, I had to minister to somebody who felt like giving up on life, literally. And, and as I was speaking and counseling the person, I gave them a shift in focus. I gave them a shift in attention. And Satan is wrestling for your attention as you do that which God has created you to attend to. And so it's key as we are praying that while I pray, there will be a shift of focus when I do so. And that will bring birth to the attitude that Pastor Lionel was saying is very important. Attitude is important. As they say, it determines your altitude. Attitude shift of focus. It, attitude is also birthed from a shift in paradigm, shift a mindset shift. And so I want to pray for that. I want to pray that the word that was taught just doesn't become theory in here, but that word is applied in our lives. We just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to do his work. He promised that he would help us, remember? He promised that he would reveal truth to us, remember? He promised that he would comfort us, remember? We pray that as we are praying right now, all that in the dimension of the Spirit happen. And, and that's key because what you need some, for some of you is just that attitude to go on, that attitude to say, bring it on. What? I'm not going to give up that, that fighting spirit. Father, Father, I'll pray in tongues and I'll change in English. I pray that God gives me the grace to also pray in a language you can understand.
So let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for each and every person that's watching now, each and every person that will watch later. I know each and every person that's breathing, that's alive, that is breath now, there is a reason for that. They are not here just to merely survive. They are here to solve problems. They are here to add value. They are here to make a contribution. They are here to glorify you. They will do that in spite of the storm. They will do that in spite of the difficult circumstances. They will fulfill their divine purpose because you walk with them. Have given them everything they need in Christ Jesus through the knowledge of the wonder of you are with them watching over that word to perform it. Your word will not fail, it has never failed, and it will not fail in their lives. But as difficult as it seems to be to believe your word, the circumstances, I pray in Jesus, that they will graciously get a hold of that word rise above circumstances. Some of you right now are just sensing this, like uh, almost like a breath of life in you. I want you to picture Adam given an assignment to tend the garden. It's a big assignment. And I want you to picture the breath of God going into him, giving him the capacity to do that assignment. Father, breathe upon your people. Breathe upon your children. Life in the name of Jesus. You are the life giver. You say you sustain the world by your powerful word. Right now, the word has been taught. That word that is nourishes, that word that empowers, that word that makes a sonde, a sonde, that is God breath. I pray, Father, that it quickens every gifting that they have for their office, every gifting that they have for their assignment. May you be quickened in the mighty name of Jesus. May they rise up, be responsible, respond. in them. May that case that you are indeed who you say you are. You are sovereign. You are mighty. You are great. You are a mighty God. You are a majestic God. You are an omnipotent God, an all-powerful God. You have all authority and all power. In the time of testing, in the time of trial, in the time of that's an opportunity Us to showcase every God. Thank you, Father. We need let the fire of God in each and every heart. Let of God, feel each and every home. In the name of Jesus, we are not lukewarm, fired up by your spirit. We will pass by your spirit. We will continue to walk, live by the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon your life. Joseph, be seen upon your life, the favor of increase in the name of Jesus. May the wisdom and the grace to steward all the increase upon your life in Jesus' name. The, the ability to take care of the resources that God brings upon you, whether it's intellectual property, whether it's people around you to support you, whether it's a team that surrounds you as you do that vision, whether it's resources. govern it appropriately in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that some of you will get sick and tired in the name of Jesus or being below when God wants to place you in positions of responsibility, in positions of influence. I pray that the scripture that says you shall be the head and not the tail, you will see it as God establishes you and guides you through his word. The word was taught that needs to be applied. You are listening to the word of God. You hearken to the word of God. Therefore, God is exalting us. I want you to believe it and take ownership, saying God is lifting me up. God is exalting me. In the name of 
Jesus, I pray, Father, for those that are in debt. Father, those who feel like they are drowning in debt, those that are struggling, oh God, with having mando. God has given you an assignment. I believe God equips for the assignment. I believe God provides for the assignment. I'm praying for people. You are canceling. You are canceling. Find a room to do your work. You see, that's not a selfish. You'll be asking, where can I find a place? And you've been saying an affordable place. You've been struggling to find a place buildings out there and i believe in the mighty name of jesus what needs to happen is for god to ensure he places you like you called abraham and hold him on assignment and we see through his posterity that there was provision for the assignment in our time in our generation there are men women here that are counselors there are men ministers. There are men and women here that serve community. There are men and women here that are doing their work. May they never be frustrated with resources. May their focus be on you. You told us not to worry and stress about material stuff. You told us to watch God, to seek after your kingdom. You can't give us a word that's impossible to appropriate and to apply. When you tell us not to stress and worry about things, that's exactly what we are capable of. I pray that anything, any resource, any need for that assignment, I thank you for a release. I thank you for a peace that's coming over people right now regarding what you told them to do as they go out going out in twos to minister carrying no money bag carrying no clothes but they came back and never complained of lack i pray father in the name of jesus for men and women that are faithfully doing their divine assignment thank you for a release of super provision jesus super provision supernatural favor. May they of in you. You are dependable. You are a God who honors every to the scriptures as we are faithful to the word of God. Thank you. They stand on those words. Same ones they've heard weekends. Same ones they hear during the week. Father, thank you that you name and feel the waters. Let's name have a wonderful restful you continue by faith May you continue to manifest the glory of our God. He reigns that everything that has Thank each and every minister that ministered today. Pastor Lionel, truly, truly appreciate you. We have Pastor Coach Haywood at another session, probably tomorrow. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us and celebrating God Almighty together. You, I believe the Spirit of God is upon you, saturated by the presence of God. You will manifest the glory of God and the difference will be felt, will be seen in the name of Jesus Christ.